What if I tell you that RNG might not actually be as random as everyone thinks and that there's a realistic chance that it could be manipulated within RuneScape to get any drop at any time? Let's talk about it. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chevalric and today we're going to be talking about RNG in RuneScape and how it is maybe not as random as everyone thinks it is and that there's a realistic chance that it could be manipulated. I know what it sounds like. It sounds like a clickbait title. I know it sounds like a clickbait topic to begin with and probably BS. But there's a real example that I'll be giving you further on in this video that could actually prove this point within RuneScape. However, this is a conspiracy theory type of video, like full tinfoil hat, no I'm not on any substance, no you cannot have any that I'm on, trust me, wait, I just control. anyway, um, ser on a serious note though, like, I want to clarify, there is no factual proof for this, this is just a fun video exploring this idea, as I said, giving you a real example from a different game where there is real RNG, just like RuneScape, but where there's actually an exploit founded within RNG. And I thought it would be interesting to compare that to RuneScape and see how that could apply to RuneScape, how it could affect RuneScape, and just in general, that idea, just to explore it, because if you remember correctly, a few months ago, I did a video on the possibility of getting more elite dungeons after the initial Zamrak dungeon. It was a conspiracy video or like a theory video or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you guys seem to really, really enjoy it. So I was like, you know what? Let's make a follow-up video on that. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this idea. If you have any like IT background and, you know, you might know how this could actually work. Let me know. Like, I'm genuinely curious because, as I said, I there's a realistic chance that this could work within RuneScape. However, that realistic chance is very, very small. Leave a like if you do enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new for more videos. Let's just get into it. So, before we begin, let me just fully clarify that I am fully aware on how RNG works within RuneScape. Some people discuss how it actually works, but let's be honest, the best explanation you can give anyone on how random number generator, aka RNG works, is you have a die with the set amount of sides for a drop. So for example, if a drop is 1 in 5, 12, the die has 5, 12, more well, dice, has, has 512 sides. If you roll 1, for example, you will get the drop. If you roll any of the other 511 numbers, you will not get the drop. Very easy concept. So with every boss kill, you roll the dice and you might get lucky on getting the drop or you might not get lucky, like most people, let's be honest. And that means that, you know, you could roll it 512 times, get the drop exactly on drop rate, which is really rare probably, or you can roll it 200 times and get it, or you can roll it 800 times to get it. That's literally how RNG works in RuneScape and in most games. So what's not random about it, Chef? Like you literally just explained that it's random. Well. Let me just give you this example. So I know that most games code bases and I know that most games just development in general and systems like RNG and other systems don't work exactly the same. However, this example that I'm going to be giving you with Pokemon is very similar to RuneScape. And why I know it's very similar to RuneScape is because RuneScape's code, or sorry, Pokemon's code is widely available for anyone to check and they checked within the code how their RNG works. It works exactly how I just explained it. And from what we understand from Jagex moderators, that is how RNG works in most cases in RuneScape. You roll a dice and, you know, you have a chance of getting set drop from set activity in RuneScape. Pokemon system is exactly the same. So if you have never played Pokemon, let me explain a simple concept in Pokemon. Pokemon has these Pokemon called shiny Pokemon. On the left, you see Charizard. Charizard is an orange Pokemon, orangey, red, whatever, orange Pokemon. On the right, you see it's a shiny variant, which is black, which is a very good and better looking, in my personal opinion, version of Charizard. This is like the rare version of Charizard. It doesn't do anything, it's just an aesthetic thing, but you have a one in 4096, in the modern games at least, chance to get this Pokemon. So how it would work in the game, as in proven within the code, is you run into the grass, you encounter a Charizard and there's a dice being rolled and if you roll the one in 4096 chance of getting the shiny roll or however you want to call it, your Charizard will be black instead of orange. Very simple concept. Literally just like how any drop works within RuneScape and pretty much probably in any game for that matter. Very simple concept. Yet again, Chef, explaining how it's random. 
yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah, the Pokemon community found out that within the code, that is exactly how it works, yet they found a way to manipulate it. The Pokemon community found a way to make a calculation based off some random thing. So, before I give you it, if anyone who plays Pokemon happens to watch this video and knows exactly how this concept works, I am fully aware I'm not going to be explaining it 100% accurately. I'm just going to be explaining it so RuneScape players will actually understand it and to not make it too difficult and not to actually give a tutorial on it because this is not a tutorial video on how to do it. There are many on YouTube, but this is just to make it easy to understand for everyone involved. So what the Pokemon community found out is that there's a certain calculation to be made, made of your trainer ID, which is pretty much an ID given to your save file that you make, um, linked to a secret ID, which is one that you cannot find within like the game, but you need to look into the code, but people found ways around it, blah, 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 blah. Not interesting at all. And NPC movements, to figure out these things called shiny frames. You can pretty much compare shiny frames or frames within Pokemon to game ticks. It's not like 60 frames per second, so you get 60 shiny frames or 60 frames per second that you can get a shiny frame in. So it's, a, it's literally like a shiny frame or a frame within Pokemon is a game tick with a Pokemon. Just for easy explanation and for just video purpose sake. Well, cool. We know what it means. We know the equation. So how does it work? Well, it's actually quite a simple concept. They found out if you put these numbers together from your trainer ID, secret ID, these game ticks, which they figure out via NPC movements from when you load up your save file. I know it sounds really random. It literally sounds like a 2010 tutorial of like, oh, do these things and you get a rare item in RuneScape. Um, I know, but it generally works like this. Like it's literally been proven that it works like this. I've seen multiple videos of people showing it. I know people who've done it, so it's literally like, it works like this. And I figured out that it's manipulatable. And that within this calculation, you can just get a shiny frame. So pretty much it says, oh, within game tick 6,000, for example, or shiny or frame 6,000, you will encounter a shiny Charizard. You run into the grass exactly on game tick 6,000, you encounter Pokemon, and there you go. You have a shiny Charizard, 100% guaranteed no random at all and if it was truly random it would have just rolled on that 6000 game tick and it would have rolled the dice and shown you the shiny charizard or not that is how it should work but that isn't how it works so let's for just argument's sake say that this exactly this idea could work within runescape that for example the game clock within runescape wars movements in wars retreat and your ID of your account or your name or your rank on the high scores or whatever people figure out, right? Like, as I said, like, even if this equation was in RuneScape, we still need to figure out whatever numbers are involved to calculate this idea. Because it's, it's an idea that RuneScape players have had in general that, you know, if you haven't played for a while that, you know, your RNG might be boosted or that if you do small clue openings that it's better than big clue openings like these are all these concepts or ideas that people always had within runescape and they're probably not based of everything on anything let's be honest it's just feeling or people just got lucky or whatever but what if there's actually some truth behind this whole concept and idea what if there is actually a calculation to be made to get a certain drop what if runescape would have a shiny frame system like pokemon has that where for example if on game tick 6000 you would open an elite clue and you get a blood die and that there, that we could make a calculator or whatever where you could just see whichever drop you had and you could just form a collection lock that would be insane and as i said i don't really expect this to be in runescape and even if it is in runescape i have no idea how we can find it out i know some code of runescape is available because Obviously, private servers are a thing, and they are made and based off the RuneScape code. However, I don't know if it's even a if anyone can even figure it out. And I'm curious to see. And even if people figure it out, would it be an issue for the game? Well, I've given it a lot of thought. I've actually recorded this video a couple of times now, and it is very difficult to get it down to a reasonable explanation, but still. Um, make that application to RuneScape and give some good examples because every time I stop recording I'm just like oh wait this is a good idea and this is actually a good example so what impact could it have well 
I've given it thought, as I said, and I think the main impact would be on static things like a bear's chest or a clue scroll chest or anything that you can click on an exact game tick. Because let's say the system works exactly like it works in Pokemon, that there's a certain tick that you need to um, open, in this case a clue scroll at, to get a certain rare drop, then it is easily timeable with a clue scroll, but it is difficult to do with, for example, a boss or a different monster or anything else that is even more RNG involved. Because let's say if you kill um, Nex at a certain game take or certain time with this calculation in mind, you will have to hit that exact number that they are left on health, which is difficult in general, especially because Nex heals as well. And you need to be able to hit that number to knock out Nex and you need to be able to land that hit, not splash it, not, you know, low roll it, not just regular roll it. You need to get the exact hit at the exact time. And at that point, like the attempts that it would pop probably take to, you know, try and hit that frame to get that Torfra plate body, it's probably not worth it compared to just farming Nex in general, because in general, even with Pokemon, you kind of have to wait. It could be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds even thousands of frames away from where you are even ten thousands of frames away so you could just literally be sitting there for hours up on end and those hours you could probably kill next again pokemon you could also see that you could just not get a shiny in that like play session in general you could just reset and that's an interesting thing that just came to mind what if we know exactly when drops come to have when drops come into play would that ruin runescape I think it would, because I think the excitement of a boss, at least for me at, uh, anyway, is you take it out and then you wait and then you see the drop appear and you'd be like, ah, too bad. But for example, with Zamrak, you see the sparkles, you'd be like, oh, there's a drop coming in. Or, you know, at any boss, you see the broadcast, you're like, oh, let's go. You're so happy. That aspect would kind of be taken away if you know that, you know, if, if on kill four of the hour, you will get a drop. Eh, you're just like, eh, I will get my drop. Yay. So... I really hope that it's not a thing in RuneScape. Let me clarify this. I really hope that RNG is truly random within RuneScape and there are smart systems in place. And I would assume so, because obviously RuneScape's gold, unfortunately, still holds real life value. And I think that is something Jagex always takes into equation. At least I have an idea behind that. But hey, oh, that could be for a whole different video. But yeah, if you do enjoy this video and these types of videos, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this concept in general. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. And my name is Shevelric. See you guys in my next video.